All right, so 12.3 geometric series. A series is an expression found by adding the terms of a sequence. We also have what we call talk about is a finite geometric series. The sum of a geometric sequence that has a finite number, which means we can count how many are in the pattern, finite number of terms. So here's our formula. S stands for sum. N is how many we're looking for. A is your first term. It's 1 minus R to the N. R is still our common ratio. N is still the number of terms we're looking for. Over 1 minus R. We have to know what A, R, and N are so we can find the sum. We don't know those values. We really can't do much. So we're going to look at a couple of examples. And we'll be done. So finding the sum, we need to know A. What is our first term? So our first term here is 5. So we're going to fill that in. Then we need to know the common ratio, which means what's happening each time. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 45 divided by 15 is still 3. 135 divided by 45 is 3. And if you check it all the way through, you're going to find out your common ratio is 3. Now, we need to know what N is. How many terms are in our pattern? Which means it's finite because we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six terms in the pattern. So we're going to use the sum of the six terms is going to be our first term A times 1 minus our common ratio to the sixth term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. From here, it is very simply just math. 1 minus 6 or 3 to the 6, that's 1 minus a big number. On the bottom, I know it's negative 2. The top, you have to punch it into your calculator, and that's 729. And I'm going to take 1 from it. Now, I know some of you are starting to see that negative on the bottom and maybe panicking a little. Don't, because the negative 2 on the bottom is going to cancel out with that top. So we get negative 728 on top divided by negative 2. So the sum of the first six terms here is going to be 364. Check on my cheat sheet because I'm dividing it. So the sum of the first six terms is 364. Now, the one thing I forgot to carry over is we got to take that and multiply it by the 5. So we're going to take that value, multiply it by the 5. So the sum of the six terms is not 364, but it's 364 times 5, which is 1,820. All right. So we're going to look at one more example. This one is dealing with fractions. You guys' favorite. So our first term, that's pretty easy. It's 1 fourth. R, my common ratio. Remember, we're dividing through. So I've got to take 1 eighth and divide it by 1 fourth. We don't really divide fractions. We multiply. So 1 eighth times 4. So we flip that bottom one over. That gives me 4 over 8, which is just 1 half. It's going by 1 half. Each term is being multiplied by 1 half to get to the next. Now n. n in this case is a little bit of a challenge. I need to know how many terms are in the sequence. I need to know how I got to 100 or 1 over 512. So I'm going to use my explicit formula to find n. So we're going to use explicit form the geometric sequence to find n. Remember, that was f sub n equals, and it was a times r to the n. And I believe in this case we want r to the n minus 1. So f sub n, we don't know what the value of n is, but I know my last term is 1 over 512 equals my first term, 1 over 4 times 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 power. Now, I need to multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of that 1 fourth. So that gives me 4 over 512. That does reduce to 1 over 128. And that is equal to 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. 
So n minus 1, to be able to get rid of this and to figure this out, I need to break this down to 1 over 2 to some power. And that's to the seventh power. Because if you take 2 to the seventh, you're going to get 128. Now, I know since the bases are the same, the powers have to be the same. So that's 7 equals n minus 1. Add the 1. That means my n value is 8. So now that I know n, I'll go back here, plug that in, and I can go back to my formula for finding the sum. So s, which is the sum of the first eight terms, is my a value, my first term, times my r value, or excuse me, my 1 minus the r value to the 8th over 1 minus the r value. From here, you're going to be punching a lot of things into your calculator. So we get 1 fourth times 1 minus 1 over 256 over 1 half. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So up here, we get 1 fourth times, let's see, on that top, this is 256 over 256, so I get 255 over 256 divided by 1 half. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please don't do this all in your head. Punch into your calculators, but it is, it is fractions. So we should get a fractional answer, and we should get 255 over 512. And that is the sum of those eight terms of that series.